say you have a rifle target that uh, you took a picture of and you want to show somebody your groups which you would choose the appropriate category for that but anyway I'll just enter a subject here um, my two seventy nozzler partitions and get a little bit of brief description here this is a test with my 270 using 130 grain Nosler partitions. Okay, there's your body of your message. Um, I usually hit enter a couple times, give a little space in between the two. Now you want your picture on there, so you go up here, you choose a new tab, click that, and it opens up a second tab in your browser. That new cut tab comes up, and you tell it where you want to go. Up here, you would want to type in photobucket.com, and I already have this saved in my favorites, but I'm typing it in just to show you if you've never been there. Uh, how you're going to get to it. <clears throat> now your second tab pulls up Photo Bucket. And at this point, if you don't have an account, you'll want to open one. Uh, I already have one, and I stay logged in all the time. I don't uh, log out of it. So then I just click on My Home. It takes me to my home page on uh, Photo Bucket. And photo bucket runs slow, and you're gonna find out that there's a lot of pop-ups, there's a lot of ads, a lot of videos that pop up. I usually hit the mute on uh, my computer because I don't like to listen to that stuff. Here's one running over here. You gotta watch where you put your cursor because anything that you run across that has a pop-up, if your cursor goes across that, it's gonna pop up, and you have to click it off. Um, so anyway, right here where it says upload images and videos, you click that. Now it opens up a window to your computer so you can browse for what photos you want. It just so happens this one pulls up the last folder that I was in. Uh, but you click the header here in, the, in this window and pick wherever your picture is. It may be in your desktop, your recent documents, my documents, my pictures, my computer, any one of these categories in your computer, shared documents, network places, uh, it, wherever your picture happens to be. It just so happens that all of mine I put into an album called My Pictures and that's where everything stays. But uh, here's the two pictures of uh, the ones that I want to load. Now you can use the bulk uploader, but I'm not going to show you how to do that today. When you get more advanced, you can figure that out on your own. It's really not that hard. But see, this picture is 1280 by 960. That's too big for a website. And I'm going to show you what happens here. Double click that picture, and here it goes. It's pulling it into uh, your photo bucket account. Uh, out of your computer, out of that folder where it was, and here it is, it's uploaded it to your album. Now, um, you can select an album to place it in or it'll just go into a generic album. We'll just let it go into the generic one here. Um, add tags, we'll add a tag to that. Um, just something briefly to describe what it is. 270 Nosler Partitions. Now click add and there it is right there on the bottom of that picture it tells you what it is. Go down here to save to save that picture. Like I said, photo bucket runs pretty slow. Um, their bandwidth isn't near big enough for all this crap that they've got running around on it. Okay, here's your picture. 
this is just a default album that I've got here. This is my Mo Hunters default album right there. This is the one that it puts everything into that I upload. And until I find a place for it where I want it, I just leave them here. They're easy to find. Now, um, about the size. I already have a size selected for my pictures. When I upload one, it automatically sizes it to 640 by 480. And for most websites, that's the maximum that you're allowed to uh, place onto uh, their website. So I already have that set. But if you want to change the size, and you're going to need to, because if it's any bigger than 640 by 480, when you paste it to a website, it's going to be huge. Okay? And you don't want that. And uh, so you will click Edit right up here in the top corner of the picture. I clicked on Edit. And I'll show you where the resizing feature is for this. It's real simple. Let's give uh, Photo Bucket a minute to catch up here. And trust me, it's not my connection. I'm on high speed. This is just the website that really runs slow. Now there's my picture. Um, and in order to make it the size that you want, you can right here is your all your features that you can use to uh, work with your photo. You can auto fix, fix red eye. You can crop, resize, rotate, flip, <coughs> adjust your layers, contrast. There's all kinds of stuff up here. All we want is the resize. Click that. And right here, <clears throat> I don't know if the video will pick it up or not, but that says 640 by 480. That's the pixels, the size of your picture. And there are preset sizes over here. And click on that. And it says tiny, small, medium. And it gives you like the dimensions 100 by 75, 6, 160 by 120, 320 by 240. You can choose any one of those generic sizes, but those are really small. So, but over here, I have this box check that says keep proportions, and that's why it keeps the 640 by 480. But if you wanted to change the size of it, you use these buttons right here for width <coughs> and height. And when you move those, your picture is going to get smaller or it's going to get larger. Now, you can see how that works. But anyway, if you pick a size that you want it to be, and then you come over here and click Apply, then it'll save it to that size. When you set this to 640 by 480 on your the first picture you upload, <coughs> click this button over here that says Keep Proportions. And then from there on out, every time you upload a picture to your Photo Bucket album, that's the size that it'll automatically size it to. And that's what you want. Okay, so... We don't need to resize this one because it's already 640 by 480. So I'll just click cancel. Save unsaved changes. No. Close anyway. <coughs> and I want to go back to my default album. This is where that picture is. Mo Hunter's default album. Click that take me back to the album where this picture was. That's where I want to work with it from. You could do it from here, but it's easier just to go back to your album where your other pictures are. That way if if there's another one of these pictures, you have the option to, to pick any of these that you want to move over. But uh, this is the one I want to copy to the website. Put your mouse over the picture and this little box drops down. You've got choices. Email and IM, instant messaging, direct link, hotmail code and image code. The image code is the one you want to copy and paste your picture. Left click on that to highlight it and then right click and you'll get a menu here. Go down to copy. Left click on copy. Now you've copied that to your clipboard on your computer. It's just basically somewhere on your computer that holds it in limbo until you do something with it. Then what you'll do is go back up here to your website that you're on this is in a separate browser. You have two browsers open, one for Photo Bucket and one for uh, Ammo Smith, where I want to post this picture. Click on that. It takes us back to our post. Go right here where your cursor is and you right click. That opens up your menu, little drop down menu. Click on, left click on paste. And there's your photo that you just copied the link from Photo Bucket. 
puts it right there. Now, you want to see what it looks like, go down here and click on Preview. Give this a minute, and there it is. Here's what I wrote. This is my test. This is a test with my 270 using 130 grain Nosler partitions, and there's the picture that I saved on Photo Bucket. Now that I've transferred it over, I want to post this. You'll go right down here, click on Post, and boom, it'll be there on the website.